Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Gemini for the, uh, this is a bonus love reading for you guys. So this is going to be for the rest of your February 2024. Uh, you can apply this to your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. Uh, switch the rules if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Gemini people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, uh, the links for those are in the description box below. Um, support me on there too. Also, uh, I, I, I am doing a, a giveaway for a free 30-minute personal reading with me on Zoom. So if you guys are interested in that, I did post the details in my YouTube community tab in my YouTube channel. So just check that out. Uh, for those of you guys that are entering, good luck. I will announce the winner on March 8th, all right? So tell me about uh, Gemini. Gemini. Uh, Gemini in love and the person that they are connecting with for the rest of their February 2024. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Gemini, for Gemini. So we have the Five of Swords here and the Knight of Wands. Okay, um, I mean, there could be a situation that you're dealing with someone here who is not being serious here in this connection. I mean, this Knight of Wands is someone here who is not really quite ready to commit. You know, they're only coming in for a fun time, not a long time. So with the Five of Swords here, yeah, this person plays a lot of games here, okay? You know, it could be an in in indication, Gemini. Some of you guys could be really enjoying your freedom here too, all right? If you guys are single, let's see what else we have here. Knight of Wands, Aries, Real Sag, Aquarius Energy with the Five of Swords. We have a Star card here, Aquarius Energy and the Six of Cups. I mean, this could be an indication that, you know, the person that you've been dealing with here this night, you know, this person that has been playing games here with you, I mean, you could be separated from this person and this person could be, could be missing you a lot. I mean, it could be an indication that you're missing this person too. I mean, you could switch the roles if you want. Um, these are general messages here. Um, uh, Aquarius energy with the star card, six of cups. You could be dealing with someone here who has strong Aquarian energy in their chart here with a death card here, Scorpio energy here, and the nine of pentacles. I mean, this nine of pentacles here could be you right here. Virgo energy, pre-empress energy here. So, you're shutting the door in the past here, basically, okay? I do feel like whoever this is, I do feel like this person might come back around and try and reconnect with you, but I just feel like you just don't have any time with this, or that you just don't want to waste any time with this person. You know, since you separated from this person, you've been a lot happier, okay? With the magician here, Gemini Virgo, you've been able to do things, okay? Because I feel like perhaps when you were with this person, it could have created a bit of an energetic block for you where you feel like you couldn't, you, you weren't able Able to do things, okay? We have the Six of Cups here in the Ace of Cups, all right? Whoever this is, I feel like this person's still in love with you. I mean, this could also be indication that you might be meeting new love where you feel like you have a past uh, soul connection with this individual, but then this person's not really, you know, serious about this relationship here with you. The uh, Star card, the Star card here in Temperance, Sagittarius Energy, Okay, the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Wands here, and the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I do feel like this person's definitely coming in with an offer here, uh, coming in to apologize, uh, to uh, look for your forgiveness here, to regain your trust here. But I feel like whatever this person's offering you, this pentacle and this cup here, or whatever it is, I feel like you're going to tell them to shove it up their butts or something like that. The Seven of Pentacles here, yeah, I feel like you're just not going to waste any more time on this individual here, okay? I feel like you feel Feel like you wasted enough time all right tell me about the person that gemini is dealing with here what is this person's true feelings and intentions towards gemini what is this person's true feelings and intentions towards gemini for february for the rest of february 2024 sun moon rising venus signs for uh gemini for gemini
What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Gemini? <clears throat> so we have the Eight of Pentacles here and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. I, you know, Gemini, um, I feel like this is you. I feel like you're just focusing on your work here. You're focusing on your pentacles here. Um, whoever this knight is, I do feel like this knight is in, in the rear view mirror here. I do feel like you're, I do feel like you're this masculine energy. Yeah, whoever this uh, person that you've been dealing with here, I feel like this person hasn't really put in a lot of effort here. You've turned your back on this individual. You sort of seen the light here. You're realizing that this person, you know, lacks a bit of a moral compass here. Uh, you know, this person lacks, you know, the core values that you value here. Okay, so I feel like, you know, your integrity is really important to you. And I feel like you don't want to turn your back on yourself here. The Seven of Wands here, okay, and the Hermit, Virgo Energy. I mean, this person might try and fight for this connection here, but I see you actually disappearing on this person here and, and distancing your, yourself from this individual. Uh, the Hermit, Virgo energy here, the Ace of Swords, okay? And the Seven of Wands and the Nine of Cups here. This person sees you as their wish fulfillment here. Okay, this person's definitely in love with you. Um, but I feel like you, you're, you're definitely, like I said, I feel like you're definitely shutting the door on this person because you just know it's the right thing to do. Uh, there is a sense of you kind of like wising up here. Yeah, the Hierophant and the Six of Swords, the King of Pentacles here, and the Queen of Cups, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. I mean, this could be an indication that you could have moved on to someone new here. Okay, someone who, who's very caring, who's very nurturing, who's very giving, who's very smart, very intelligent, very spiritual here. I mean, whoever this is, someone here could be watching you move on to move on to someone new here. Um, I do believe that this person's actually uh, perhaps maybe making you really, really, really happy here. Okay, with the Queen of Pentacles here and the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah, someone here could be coming in with an apology here. Someone here could be coming in with an apology or Queen of Pentacles, uh, uh, Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, uh, no, Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and the Fool card here, Aries energy, Aquarius energy. Yeah, you know, whoever this is, I feel like this person played a lot of mind games here with you. Sometimes that Five of Swords could be a representation of mind games. Someone who manipulates, who gaslights here. Okay, so I feel like this is someone that you've completely moved on from or that you feel like you learned a huge lesson from this individual where I feel like this was a takeaway so that, you know, when you stepped into this new relationship, you know, you don't carry uh, in that burden with you. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I feel like whoever this is, I do feel like this person is trying to reconnect with you here. What else do we have here for Gemini? What else does Gemini need to know, look out for, work on for the uh, rest of the February 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Gemini. Three cups here in the world. Yeah, so you're definitely closing the door on someone here that's trying to reconcile here with you. This is someone that you don't want anything to do with here. With the uh, Four of Wands here and the Five of Pentacles. Someone here is watching you sail away into the sunset with somebody else here. And I feel like it's making this person very insecure. And I feel like it's also making this person feel very, very, very jealous here. The Moon card here, Cancer Pisces here, and the Knight of Pentacles here. Yeah, this person's definitely gonna... I feel like this person might be fearing losing you or something like that. But the thing is, I feel like you've been separated from this person for quite a while here. Okay. Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles here in the Four of Swords. The Moon card here and the Devil. Yeah, whoever this is, I feel like this person has narcissistic tendencies here. Okay. I do feel like this person, uh, ha you know, perhaps when you were with this person, this person was really controlling towards you. Okay. I do feel like this person was definitely like maybe creating like, you know, kind of like false uh, realities. And they feel like this person wanted you to, you know, live in their crazy reality here. All right. The five of pentacles here and the seven of cups, the four of wands here and the two of pentacles. Whoever this is, I feel like this person is not really living a great life here because I feel like this person definitely like is seeing other people, but I feel like this person thinks about you a lot. The World card here and the Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here, the Three of Cups here, and the Wheel of Fortune here. Somebody here could be facing their karma too. Yeah. So I feel like some here is watching you sail away into the sunset with somebody new, somebody new, and I feel like this is definitely triggering this, this person in a way. So uh, Gemini, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.